Not for the radio, NFTR, myself, Dwayne Jones, Shams, Post in the building. All right, so we've got another special guest. He goes by the name, do you need an introduction? Go on, just do it anyway. He goes by the name of Wretch32. What's happening, man? What up, I'm charging. Hey! What up, Good charging, What's man. So, Fantastic. I mean, you've been in the game for a minute now. Loads of hour. accolades. An hour. Loads of achievements. But most recently, I think people have been asking the question, where's the album? Oh. So, uh, you know, I'm going to give you a chance to clear up where the album is. Some yes. people said you got dropped. Ooh, who said that? That was a rumour. Some people said I'm you like, got dropped. You can't drop nothing with wings. Some people said <laughs> it's what direction you're going in was a bit of a confusion for you. The game was shifting. Yeah. There was loads of things, loads of speculation. So why is nah, it taking you know so was, long? If I'm, if I'm completely mm. honest, like since, since we released Black and White, which I believe was 2011, I've had like an album and a half finished every single year. But um, it's just for reasons out of my control. Like sometimes... You know, I'd have to go back to explain what's been happening. Like basically, when we done the when we initially done the deal with Ministry, we was like it was underplayed and it was an undercard. It was like what they what they what they required from me was um, a top forty single mm. and forty thousand albums, and the money matched that, and that's what it was. So um, what happens is we go in with Tractor. Tractor goes to number five. We've already exceeded expectations. Then we have a fucking, sorry, we have an emergency meeting and then it's like, all right, cool. All we're saying is if you can duplicate that success again, you have a shot at doing something great and doing something big and really doing some real units. And the 40,000 thing went out the window and obviously the top 40 thing went out the window because we went straight to number five. So it's like, all right, cool. So we went in again on Orthodox. That was with Tractor, right? That was with Tractor, yeah. yeah. We went in again on Orthodox number two. Number one in the midweek, then we got knocked off by Party Rocking in the House tonight, my tune. But yeah, so yeah, then um, on Orthodox goes to number two. We have another meeting and it's like, look, all we're saying is if you go with one more, obviously, you get what I mean? The album's going to, just like you're setting yourself up to do like a minimum of a gold album, which is 100,000. Um, the, the radio are loving you. You're, 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 I'm up and down the country. You're doing beyond what we had expect, uh, expected in the beginning. We go again, we do Don't Go, we go to number one, we drop the album, the album's 27,000, week one, it charts at number four. And it's like, all right, cool. All of a sudden, the plan has completely changed because now we, we, we somehow ended up in like, I don't know, the Champions League when we was only aiming for the Prem. Yeah. So now how the label look at that is like, okay, next time when you come back round, let's go for... The World Cup now. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? And let's yeah. really go again. But if I'm honest, like my thing has always been about the body of work and not necessarily cherry picking one song off because for me it's hard it's hard to show you my outfit when you can just see the t shirt. You have to just see the whole thing. Well very nice. Makes sense? Well yeah. Smith, you know. Yeah, I try. I write songs sometimes. Um so yeah, so then we come back again, we go with blackout, blackout number six. Um, but I wanted to drop the album after Blackout. Um, but once again, I think the label just kind of got caught up in the first album, Ethos. But yeah. obviously this time around, everything's different because when you've been to number one, everybody looks at it different. I remember watching Brother Tinchy, Big Up Tinch, and it was like, when everything he was doing was in the top five, it's like, yo, oh, number one, number two, number three, all the, the success he had, like top selling mail that year. And when he came back with the next record and a single, we might have went to like seven or eight or six or something like that. And everyone was like, ooh, Tinji's gone to number seven. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it was like, it was such a big thing. And I remember sitting back looking at that like, bro, but that's a top 10 though. Yeah. Do you get what I mean? Like yeah. you was the top, you had the top selling record of that, or top 10 selling record of that week. Oh. So, so being cool. number one is like a blessing. So and being a curse. number one it is definitely a blessing and a curse because obviously our last record before the album dropped, don't go number one. Then we come back, blackout goes to number six. Everybody's happy because to be fair, in my mind, I'm still like, okay, cool. I'm just gonna play with this because I know what I get from it, and it enables me to move up in so many different capacities, i.e., festivals and um, bookings and bar mitzvahs and corporates and stuff. What are bringing in some lucrative income? Oh. Cool. We do a next single, which is doing okay. This one didn't do okay, ironically. Um, so then now the label are like, all right, cool. So what are you going to do? We need to come back with three more singles or two more singles or something like that. And I'm kind of like, look, I wanted to do one single and drop the album because the album I've made isn't an album full of singles. And 
one song won't represent it. So then, um, wrapping off of that. Boom, then we do six words. So I'm like, after six words, I'm like, look, we have to drop it after this. Like, yeah. this is where people have to hear the body of work. Because I've been, I've had an album and a half every single year and people haven't got to hear it. It's just been on my laptop, which is, it's something that's kind of, it's a very strenuous position to be in because you have to understand, like, when you're a real genuine artist, like, you're writing, you're writing your diary and it, and you're, but it, it just so happens that it's magnified so people get to look at it and people get to read into it and listen to it. So for me, like, not putting out an album each year has kind of, like, hindered me, like, physically as well and, and, and mentally as well. Do you get what I mean? That's why you, you probably were here, like, Enough musicians suffer from, from what is it? Say, was it seventy percent of them? Like, yeah, like, seventy percent. Seventy percent of artists have like, issues. Since you some dropped. biopolish shit. Album um, since two thousand eleven. Okay, cool. So boom, yeah, six words comes in at number. What, what number six words again? Eight or six or seven? Eight, eight. So yeah, six words is number eight. Big up Pete. Um, yeah, six words is number eight. We didn't get to drop the album after that, and now. We're back at that place where they still want to do two or three or four more. So I'm just like, this kind of isn't working out because I'm not winning in this situation. Like I'm not getting to showcase the best side of my work, which is the album. And the single is just just a, 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 a small factor of that, but a big factor because the success of it enables you to do other things. So um, yeah, it's been a mad frustrating time for me, man. Like if I'm honest, but like, you know, there's a, there's a plan that's been already arranged for me and it and it's not there's not a person on earth that can interfere with it and that's how I have to look at it and look at it and that's what's kind of pushed me through. So how many top tens have you wrapped up? Um tracked out, one of the don't go. Go on. Black out, six words. Five. Five. And three of them came around the same time. Same time. One yeah. year. Constant. So bam, had, bam, 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 bam. You had a number one, a number three, and a number five. Two. Okay. Yeah. And number two. Hey. All right. Cool. <laughs> Big so difference. That man, year, <laughs> that year, yeah. you kind of went through the same thing that Tinchy went through previous years. Yeah, not yeah, getting yeah, yeah, recognized yeah, yeah. by the Mobos. What's your relationship like now with the Mobos post not getting recognized for anything that year? Do you know what? I've that year I decided I wasn't gonna go back to that ceremony. Um and I've stuck to it. And sorry to keep um mentioning Tinchy, um, because I remember the year when they done it to Tinchy, mm. and I remember seeing his face. And I'm like, this guy is the top, singles wise, the top selling male this year. Yeah. He comes to our ceremony. Yeah, yeah. Not even just in like the black music. No, not, not, yeah. not yeah. black Everyone music, call it, just yeah. period. Yeah, yeah, like yeah, yeah. millions of singles sold like myself. You get, well, over a million anyway, like myself. Not recognized by that Drop one. A bomb Come there. On. You heard cool. that. No, no, yeah. yeah, but you know, it's not like that. <laughs> yeah, boom, so boom. Yeah, then that happens to Tinchy and I thought, and I remember seeing him, his face and his A&R, um, Ben Scars, after that. And I was like, rah. And they were like, we're never coming back. Mm. And then I think the next year was my year or the year before my year. And, and I was there and um, they were back. And I remember thinking, oh man, like, shouldn't come back. And then they, like, I think he's won like best video. My man deserves way more than winning a yeah, best yeah, video. Yeah, definitely. You get what I mean? You don't understand what it's like to to acquire and obtain that yeah. number of units sold. Yeah, Tinchy should have cleaned up. Coming that, from yeah. our thing. All right, cool. So yeah. then what happens is, not only on my year, do I not win. It's not that even the not winning. The back, There's a backstory that I've never said. I'll tell it here, because oh. it's, it's a good place. Um, basically, so cool. I'm nominated for four nominations. Um, uh, Kanye asked me to come down to the nomination party. I go down to the nomination party. I've got a booking in Ibiza. So I'm saying to her, like, look, we kind of got to get out of here at this time. My car's coming for me because I need to get to the airport to fly out to do the show. And as far as my agent has told me, he just said, listen to me, do not miss a show because it's mad. Like, it's crazy. Like, mm. just don't. I'm thinking this is a suing. I don't even know what it means. Like, to miss a show, I'm, I'm a punctual person. But I'm there and I'm doing press and she's like, look, one more interview. This one's with The Sun. This one's with The Daily Mirror. This one's with this one. This one's with that one. And I'm like... I'm looking at the watch and Z's looking at me, my manager, and he's like, boy, we kind of got to go, you know? And Trevor, my tour manager, he's like, yo, we got like, we got to leave. But she's like, one more, one more, one more. And then she goes to us like, look, make sure that when you perform that day, your performance is the icing on the cake because you're going to have a very good night. So I'm like, rah, it's I'm going to win something. 
So I'm, I've taken that as that. So I'm saying, what, what, what are you saying though? She's like, no, 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 that's, just make sure that the performance is, yeah. All right, cool. Long story short, I missed my flight. I don't get sued. I just have to do the show another day. So grace of God, that was cool. Um, so, but then I phoned the label and I'm like, listen, how much are we spending on our, on our performance? And they're like, at this moment in time, we're tallying up to 25,000. 25,000, I'm like, all right, cool. This is like, this year has been a wonder year for me. We need to turn up. Even if I have to put the money in myself, add more P. It's my money that we're spending anyway. Yeah. How much more can we get up to? We can get to 30,000. So boom, we do the performance. Well, we, we, we spend 30,000 on our performance because you have to pay to perform so your stuff looks good. If you saw, we had like beer dancers and lights and we recreated the video and it was good. And um, yeah, so boom. Um, so we're at the mobiles. I lose the first one. I go to perform. So I'm still nominated for three more. I perform. And when I come off the stage, some of the mobile people are like to me, yeah, yeah, they need you in the press room. So I'm like, but I'm nominated for three more things. I said, shouldn't I go put back on my suit, get back to the table? Bearing in mind, I'm thinking my girls told me we've got this, you get me? So I'm thinking, right, let me go think on my suit, I sharp up myself when I'm ready, you get me? That's what it's, <laughs> that's my team, sharp up myself, elevation, you get me? Boom, so yeah. But I thought to myself that was a bit weird. So I said, right, let me just sidestep this. I said, yeah, cool, cool. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go to the press room. I didn't go. I went and put back on my suit. As I'm walking back to my table, my manager's walking towards me. Zion and he's like, we're gone. I said, right, what's wrong? He's like, we're leaving. But they're saying my name as we speak. So I'm saying, right, should I get back to the table? Like, I want them to get my reaction. You gave me, I got a speech. I got a mad speech for them, an inspiring one. Like, yeah, yeah. he's like, we lost. I said, what do you mean we lost? We got like, this is one here and then we got two more after this. He was like, we lost bro. I said, ain't you seen your phone? I said, nah. He's like, check your Twitter. I've checked my Twitter. Rah. The Guardian have leaked the winners. But the headline is wretch snubbed by the mop. I said, rah, what do you mean though? Like we're in Scotland or wherever we are. We spent 30,000. We've had to buy a table. Yeah. All my bridgings are here. I got my suit on, my speech is ready. Rah! Out of nowhere, Kanye's walking towards us now. She's walking towards us and we're like, rah, what's going on? And she's like, it's votes, it's all by votes. And she walks off, I said, rah! Mad. This is what you're gonna do to the little brother? Like, you're really gonna get, yeah, but you have to understand, like, as a you, when you make songs and you're coming from where we're coming from, that's the Grammys. Yeah. You get what I mean? That's when I get to fling on my suit, put my tight on, go up there, walk on the red carpet, do my thing and sit down at the table with my people. We don't go to things like this regular. You get what I mean? So this is a big deal. I've, I've like all the obstacles you overcome to get there is a big thing as well. So you're going to tell me I've sold one million records this year. Everything I released is top five. 27,000 albums week one. The album's gone gold, that's 100,000 sold. And I can come to my ceremony mm. after you've told me I'm gonna win and lose. I said, you know what, I can't come back in this building. So after Kanye King just shrugged her shoulders. Yeah, but at the same time, I'm not, there's not, it's not, it's not an animosity thing. After that, it was like, I had to weigh it up. Cause Zion, like Zion's a very respectable gentleman, but just like everybody, we have two sides. And to, to I'm like, that's my brother and he's my manager and he, He's younger than me, but he would kind of look at me like maybe even a little brother at times because he's cleverer than me, than me in other ways. And he's so hurt for me that he can't believe that I've... Because he knows like we've done extra rehearsal time for the performance. We, like, we've done so much and he's just sitting there and he's like, he's mad and I'm looking at him and he's like, we've got to go. I said, but bro, I said, see, take like just take a step out. We know we've lost, right? We got, we're booked to do an after party, which I think it was an official one. Mm. We canceled that and then I think we done a different one. And then um, I just said, bro, look, man, go and look. look. I said, so they booked you to do the after party as, as well. As well, yeah. So, I said, so they got you to perform, Yeah. nominated you for four awards, yeah. used your name to kind of promote the whole thing Yeah. as one of the biggest selling male acts in the UK at that and time. And we Booked you for the after party and then shrugged, shrugged and, their shoulders. And, and shrugged. But the, for me, the bigger picture was when I looked, at the, when I looked at the table, and I see my brethren them from the ends in their blazers them and everyone looking sharp. And I said, you know what, bro? I said, you know what? Sometimes, fam, some people just do nasty things, fam. And you just, you just have to accept it and move on from it. 
You know what I mean? I said, we can go out there and turn the table over. We can go out there and turn every table over, but what are we going to get from that? We can leave right now, but we've wasted money on a table that we're not going to use, which maybe we should have done, maybe not. But at the time, I was like, let's just go back out there and be gentlemen. Yeah, I'm not, no, I ain't come in this whole industry <coughs> to cause no ruckus. I've come from ruckus. Yeah. Like, I've come from everything. You yeah. get what I mean? I'm not coming in this place to bring none of that into this. So I said, let's just go down, sit down, finish our drinks. And crack on. Do you do you think that sorry? Um, do you think that going back to your table and knowing that your friends and stuff, your friends and your manager, who obviously is going to probably feel it more than you, all of those people around you who are yeah. almost relying on you sometimes for a lifeline, mm -hmm. um, is that more disappointing than knowing that the public know that you've um, you've not won, or do you still feel like a winner because your friends are able to go to those kind nah, of establishments? That, that was the win. That was the win. Like my mum performing on the mobiles, you know. Don't yeah. lie, son. Go on, mash it up. You get me? Like, that was, that's the winner. We won already. Like, we know we won something, can it? Because what we achieved is, is something phenomenal, you know, given, given all the circumstances that, you know, some people might be aware of and some might not be. But, um, so the win, like, the win for me, honestly, like, the win for me was just seeing my people at the ends and just at somewhere else and just at a place like this. Like, that's like, that is our, still our big, and I still I don't, look down on it and say, fuck it. When I see like Stormzy them winning and their guy and then I said, go for it. Like I might, I might not publicly yeah. tweet about it, but I mentioned, I, I speak to them and I say, look man, put your suit on man, sharp up yourself, go out there and, you know what I'm saying? Enjoy your moment, like, cause you deserve to be there. You get yeah, what I mean? I saw, to clar to I clarify saw. though, will you ever go? Do you know what? For me to go there, I need like, <laughs> I need like a montage. You need your 30 back. Like the year. At least. Yeah, no, no, my 30 oh. back. But we can write that off, Card. It came out of the label's pocket, but it came out of my pocket after their pocket, yeah. whatever. But yeah, we can write that off. It's cool. But um, I want a montage. Like, we're sorry. You know, like you know, like that that two minutes, like like a John, sorry, though, like a John Lewis yeah, advert. After, it was like he was nominated for a lot of things. Yeah, I think, are they not? Remember. You know, sent an email or anything? No, nah, they like they wanna they'd wanna go to lunch and wanna go and sit down. But I'm like, don't do it behind closed doors because you fuck me in public. Yeah. So don't wanna try. You fuck me and you had you fuck me in public. Yeah. Like, don't try and shy us off behind closed doors and say, look, blah, 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 then come to the team. Nah, no, sir, they can't roll like that. Speaking of your boys, you said your boys were there. Yeah. Uh, one of your boys is Chipmunk. Yeah. I saw a tweet recently saying, little bro or not, mm -hmm. don't get my name involved in mix-up. I'm assuming that was about Chip. Yeah. Talk to us about that situation and why you felt the need to send out that tweet. Do you know what? That's like a very internal family situation. But what I will say, because I did, take it public was I felt that a few things and something was done incorrectly yeah and as I touched on earlier like I don't like to bring a negative vibe into this workplace I, I look at this as a job in it as well as a way of life yeah but um yeah I wasn't happy and for me to to do that or to speak on something you have to know something happened because I'm a I'm 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 a peace bearer I'm a monk <laughs> like I'm a peace bearer so something behind the scenes happened but you don't talk about what happens behind the scenes or you don't show what happens behind the scenes in the film so let the film just play out and I just wasn't happy about something but you guys will always be brothers though I mean, I mean like the same fa family, is, family is family isn't it and um, you know what I mean but he, he did do something to upset me still Okay. what is your opinion on The Clash though as a lyricist yourself Um. yeah I think, I think they're having fun man yeah, who do you think's edging it? I think they're having fun. Um, I think, I think Chip's going in. Like, he's going in right now. I'd like them to put it to bed, though. Yeah. I would like them to put it to bed because it, it, it can, you know what I mean? It can keep going on. And I think they've both, like, Chip's kind of proved that you know, he can spray and he can spit, which I, I don't even know if he needed to prove that anyway. But because um, I've always known the kids mad talented. And I think, you know, Bugsy's arrived, he's here. So I think like they've both took something from it and now it's just about cracking on and just having careers, man. It'd yeah, be interesting to see you in a kind of um, clash setting. I know that back in the day you had like a war done for Wiley. 
Back yeah. In the day. Do, do you know what? I'll it be was honest. light, though. Do you know what? You, you, you said it was light. I think it was light, bro. <laughs> bro. No, because I feel like I feel like if you do a war dub, it's gonna be like, like Ether or something. No, bro. Go <laughs> listen to me very carefully. If go you, back you here. Him yeah. in here you know? No, no, no. Go back and listen to that now. You're joking. Light. That was a myth. Do you know what? That even me and we and Wiley spoke about it. Obviously, Wiley's the big. You get me the big man, and um, we spoke about that. But everybody, but him will probably think that that was cold. But he, when he heard that, he was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because it was a metaphorical yeah, yeah, yeah. diss record. It wasn't for like a playground thing, like, oh, suck your mum. Or, yeah. oh, he said he's going to punch him when he sees him. It was proper like, <laughs> do you know what I mean? It was it was something that if he listened to, he's going to know everything I'm saying. And that's all I wanted. I don't have to prove it to anyone. I just wanted to prove to him yeah. at that time. But even if I could rewind, I probably wouldn't do that. Like, I probably wouldn't do that. Like, I don't want to, I'm, I'm not into it like that. Yeah. Is there no one right. that you would want to clash? Not not for animosity, just for sports purposes. For fun. For if they, I, we always ramp about this. If I say like if we was gonna have a clash, it be gets. Yeah. But he knows I'd rip his head off. Yeah, when you lot do yeah. your no, um, when my, you do yeah, your, no. your, your stuff together, <laughs> yeah. it's always the always. You the playground. Always, because he's joking and I'm joking, but we're serious, but we're joking. <laughs> but so yeah. You guys have achieved some, you know, individually, some amazing things and stuff, mm. and you've given us some sick music together as the movement. But would you say the movement has fulfilled its potential? Nope. And what, why not? What, what do you think the main I think, reasons are? I think we needed to do an album when everyone was at their, their hottest. Not that like we, we can't get back to heat or somewhere in different places or whatever. You would say people are hot at the moment. No, just like there was a time when like every, like Scoochie was firing, Reggie was firing, G was firing, Devlin was firing. Murky was fight like do you know what I mean? Yeah. If we when you do it when the iron when that listen to this, when the iron's hot, iron all your clothes. Go on. I like that. I do like that. It's just as simple as that. But I, it, there is something what in do you me do when the iron's not hot. Just when the iron's hot, you clothes. gotta switch it on, and now you gotta switch it on and let it okay. warm back up. You get what I mean? But I, I, there's something in me that still would always want to do that project because as a fan, like I would always want to hear my super group. Rapping the hell out of spitting the hell over yeah, like yeah. beats or whatever, you get what I'm saying? So, I'll be real though, I think like there's never gonna be a time that is like kind of uh unrealistic that you're all gonna be firing at the same time. I think you've all achieved like Gets has done like a, a national tour. Do you yeah, get what yeah, I'm yeah. seeing? Do you get what I'm saying? Scorch, he, he, Scorch is, <laughs> what, what the hell was that? Let me start that again. Gets has done his <laughs> national tour, and you know what I mean? Yeah. Like one of the most credible MCs. What Devlin's gone gold. He's got yeah, he's yeah. got a gold Devlin's album got gold as, a, here, as, of a, as a rapper or MC. Yeah. Scorch has done his thing. You've done the, your yeah. thing. Does it really need to be a time where you're all in? You nah, know I, mean? I don't. You know, it was. Mm. I, maybe I said that wrong, as well. But I, it was when everyone was firing. But that is not why we haven't done it. Yeah, I feel like it's often you can have a book, yeah, and the moral of the story. It's concurrent or con or you know consistent, but sometimes different chapters take you to different places. And I think at this moment in our book, we're all on different chapters. And we even tried to sit down and link up and do it, but it was like it's hell. What are your relationships like now at the moment? Is like we're like, listen, these them lot are my brothers. So even you and Scorcher. My brothers. I've got to say this because I know everybody yeah, wants yeah. to know. You and Scorcher were like, you were like, Batman yeah, yeah and Batman and Robin, innit? Yeah, like, yeah. I, I know you didn't want me to say the Batty and Bench run. You wanted to go Yeah, yeah the Batty and Bench run is already done it. mad for the rest still. <laughs> but go on, yeah. So, yeah, like, what is your relationship like now? No, no, we're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. We're and so how good. do you think that everybody dealt with the fact that I know that there was a stage where everybody definitely thought that Scorcher was going to outrun you? Yeah, yeah, but look, come Did on. Did you feel that? Of course, but I want my like I want this is what I want. No, you felt Scorch was gonna outrun you. Yeah, of course. Like when it when the t when it was Scorch's time, it was Scorch's. When that moment was a moment, like it was crazy. Like he's come on, he's got the whole girl thing. The little girls of collapsing on the street. Hundred percent. The man who walked past the girl, the girl bawling and them think like it was di like his thing was different. Like and I'm like, go, bruv, go. You get what I'm saying? Go, run, like get out, run, like go and do it. I gotta say, like Scorcher for me. One of the most talented. I've never cool, seen an bro, MC ooh, strap listen. up a verse so quickly. He can produce everything. All listen, of that. He's all, never been spun on a track. All of them guys. That's like the listen. Barring, I'm not even saying barring anything. Like in life, being in the movement is 
one of like part of the best moments I've ever had. Do you know how competitive competitive it is in a room with them lot? Putting on a tune when this one's ready to laugh at you. You got one weak line. Even if you go in a booth and you can't even just do it one time, this is a joke for us. Like our thing is excellence or get out. Do you think that that's what helped you to become the yeah. MC that you are now? Because the the fierce competitiveness. Of course, a hundred percent. Like talk, we. Talk. Sorry, go and finish. We like I'm, like it's it's like it's um if you come out the room with the weakest verse, like it's like coming through this door here. You walk in, and you're late, but we everyone was here at eight or whatever, and then you walk in and everyone just goes like this. And he's tapping him, and he's tapping him, and you're tapping him, and he starts laughing. Everyone starts laughing. I'll tap it. Yeah. <laughs> Everyone starts laughing. Fam, right? Talk to us about <laughs> the time where it was like obviously when the movement and Boy but I know were like the biggest crews in urban music. Yeah, and they kind of just pushed us to. And you guys were kind of like, I don't want to say against each other, but you kind of yeah. like had a competitive. Spirit. Do you know? Do you know what's funny, bruv? Like. It's so weird. Like even Maximum, he used to DJ for us, innit? Yeah. And then he went to the move um, to Boy Better Know. And then when he was in, when we started seeing him, he was like, "Well, I got to know Max." Like it was moving. Not funny, but it was jokey. It was jo- it was a bit of banter. But do you know what happened? Maximum started off in the movement. Yeah. yeah he was that. DJing for us. But listen, you know what happened? It was. You know what it was. It's like we're all we're all relatively new to this. Like we're used to being competitive in different fields. Like maybe on the road or in a football game or whatever but we was all new to that and I think it was like movement boy but no and then it was like if there was any interview if it was a rewrite magazine or whatever it was it was like boy but no but it kind of always felt like it was verses and even though we'd I've, like, I grew up around Frisco I know Skepta Jamie them like everyone really well you get what I mean so it was never it wasn't animosity but they made us feel like at that moment in time it was one or the it other. It was like one or the other. But the it really it wasn't though. Yeah, it didn't have to be. And it never like it never wasn't. It never has been. Like it shouldn't be. Like but that's how it was it was made to feel. So I don't know, like it was only a matter of time before the whole like Frisco and Scorch or Wiley and Getz or Wiley and Us or what kinda kinda took place because we felt I don't even know why. Like just imagine back then like we'd done a double show, a joint show. Or we done. It had to be someone won. Someone was better than the Yeah, other. it always had to be a win win. And that's kind of, it's, it's quite annoying because they kind of always make us feel like our dinner's limited. It is limiting. I think it's a very limited um, but, thought process. But you know what? Everyone can everyone can eat. There's a room for, there's yeah, room definitely. for everybody. But it, even with yourself, like certain times, I noticed when you lot, when that, that whole link up, I know you lot spoke about it already, yeah. the link up and the Grime Daily thing happened. I was going to ring both of you and say, I'll take you both to dinner now. And you lot fucking arm All wrestle. That. Or in I front of me, <laughs> yeah, whatever. But you under- no, but you understand my point. Like, it's not, it's not verses. Like, yeah. Link Up's gonna have Link Up, Grime Daily's gonna have Grime Daily. Do you get what I'm saying? And I it's think not. That was the moral of my story. But I think that yeah. that's in all yeah. industries. I think that yeah. without all of the components to, but to where make worse? an industry, you, you don't, don't see Coldplay it. saying "fuck you too." Or you don't say see you two saying "fuck Kings of Leon." Mm. Or you don't see Kings of Leon saying "fuck Red Hot Chili." Why? Yeah, no, they're all gonna do the stadium anyway, mm. and it's probably all to the same people. Like. Yeah, but we were in the the little. Do you fucking think it's something to do with the sport though? The way in which kind of like MCing was born, or rapping was born, it's always verses, so there can only be one king. But not really. I think it's more about Game of about the the limited like there can only be one MC. The, yeah, the, the pro- no. The problem is there can probably only be four, three, or five MCs that year on the playlist on the playlist at the same time. That's probably what the problem you is. You mean but the ra- major radio yeah, stations the major, like Capital Radio, etc. Whatever you want not to call here. it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not but um, you yeah, know, <laughs> but um, yeah, like at the same time. But does, like, is, is that the case? Like, is, does there have to be one take that? If there's Westlife, can there be take that as well? Can no, there be? Definitely. Can there be five? Can there be Backstreet? Can there be? As long like, as you got screaming fans, you're good. You're good, but I, I, and to be honest, at that low, at the level that we was at. It should, we should have never made that issue and never it was fun at the time but then we didn't we didn't we didn't we don't gain nothing from it like mm. it's just the only thing when it when it's clashing like that just the fans gain because the fans just want to see a battle they want to see him versus him all day like you want to see Jay-Z versus Nas all day but mm. cool Jay-Z wants to do the arena in it and 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 so forth. So yeah. how has the fan game treated you? I mean, like girls, groupies, you know. You just be, so and, they'd be that, mad that if I what, didn't talk about it. Is they'd that be, what you picked to slide in? That is that's what I picked to slide in. I don't know, man. Just 
you know. We heard you're a slider out here in them I'm, DMs, I'm a, a slider. <laughs> slide? You got skates, bro. What's, what's DMs, Dr. Martin? <laughs> <laughs> what kind of DM thing you trying to bring to me, dad? Hey, I don't know. Let's talk about ladies. If you, if you don't want to talk about, huh? you know, ladies that, you know, you're... Um, you're, you know, really quiet. But what about the few that you throw up on your Instagram? I know that there was a few, there's a few, you know, ladies from Tawi. Um, Whoa. Yeah, yeah but I, fr- I, I throw him up on my Instagram. No, 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 no. no. And him. The, the lady, yeah, guys, the ladies. I've, don't, have I even featured on your Instagram? We're going to do that today. I mean, I mean, That's I don't want to force about. issues. <laughs> no, it's not about that. We're going to do that today, Shams. But, you have, you must have no, a birthday no. or something. Okay. There have been a few prominent females... Like who? Oh, this is the thing I don't watch these shows. What's their names? Percy, I know you watch Tawi. What's the names? Um, the DJ Arj. girl. The DJ girl. What's the <laughs> DJ girl's Arj. name? <laughs> What's the DJ girl's name? Uh, I wrote in my. I've got notes, you know. You're scared to have notes. Oh, Lauren. Lauren. Lauren, Lauren Pope. Pope. Lauren Pope. Okay, hey, let's talk Bridget. about Popey. It's yeah, but Bridget. Bridget, but you see the the playful side of Rich and the ooh. What, what kind you, of this ooh? This is my studio voice, by <laughs> the way. Oh, 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 we're gonna put up a picture today loads of them on different occasions i've seen her on your feature she has been in the in the, in the grm top box with you bare times without being in the grm top box is it <laughs> <laughs> what's this bars you got you hey. right <laughs> no nah, like that no nah, she not alone is actually my budget like we didn't even like go there and jordan there. jordan dan jordan she's gangster isn't it? she's cool but okay. you know what hey, come on like i gotta be honest like i'm a man with a daughter in it so i'm not gonna you're not going to what? Come up here and... I mean, I'm not asking you do, to name like, names okay. and do the do. Dive into that. Like, what kind of father would this Okay, be? well, I guess that's... But, that, but, them, but no them, two days, they, them two there, there hasn't been... I'll just, that's what I'll say, there hasn't. Are you sure? Because, you know, I, it's hard to get these type of girls to parties and stuff, especially when there's a lot of, like, you know... Hoodlums. Yeah, hoodlums yeah. and stuff. And um, they've been at your parties. I've been there. I've seen them. So, like, they've come down for no, you, like, as a person, not as a not Because I'm a good, per- I'm a good you person. You are a good person. And you know what? When I'm out, I've been out with so much people, and it's always a, it's a good vibe, But it? they so get featured. How many um, so face for music? <laughs> how many face for music <laughs> models have you run through? How, how much are you in face Whoa. for music? <laughs> 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 I'm joking, I'm joking, I'm joking. I'm joking. How much are you in face for music? He's a fool. None, bro. What kind of question? He don't even book my models no more, you know. He me? He yeah, does I've got, all I've of got them. an internal beef with you at the moment. Anyway. What, uh, what video have I done? I done it doesn't matter. When, I've got when, so when much different book, types. I've got book celebrities, book? I've got actresses, I've got males. There's right, so much stuff. We're going to chat. We're going to chat. I question. I don't know if you've been asked a million times <laughs> or never at all because I haven't seen him. That was random, innit? I'm sick today. You've got to go. Yeah. What does Rich Free 2 actually mean? I don't know. Like, I've never seen. And Rich Free Two, not Thirty Two, because I know that. Yeah, yeah. You. No, not Thirty Two. Um, skinny, little you, quite mischievous. Everyone used to call me a Rich. Free Two is just like numbers, isn't it? My lucky. You numbers. hate that this question, don't you? Yeah, it's a bit of a random one. Yeah, my lucky I've numbers. I just put them at the end. I thought it was free to do what you want to do. Yeah, I was getting to that. Bro. Oh, sorry, brother. So just, just finish <laughs> me off. No, no, no. You need me uh, here. No, no. Okay. <laughs> It's hard yeah. to act like I don't know you, but I'll continue doing yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. So then, yeah, like obviously, rich, free to rap, free to live, free to whatever. You're obviously a bit of a show off because obviously you've come on here today flexing that hair. Um, and a grill. Sh- don't worry about the grill. That's a show off because of the hair. Well, some of us don't have any. <laughs> <laughs> it's the powers, fam. What, was the, what was the change in direction of the hair? Do you know what? At first, it's because of the hairline. Because I know a lot of people. Not no, 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 no. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. But you know what? You know it was. Um, <laughs> It's funny, isn't it? Um, nah, but you got the headband on and stuff like that. So it could what do you be mean? Like a style no, no, no. Some people start growing hair a little bit longer because it makes your. And we're I've headbands been told. Yeah. You've been told. Post, I can didn't you please go try? That way. Please I try. Just, you, you, go to like, you go to like no hair advice groups, innit? Like, look, Definitely. Nah, 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 get it? Look, bro, I'll, I'll, get some plants. No, no. No, you know what? At first, you know what? Being being in this thing, yeah, it's just like you always have to be sharp. And I and I was realizing like for a very long time I've been cutting my hair three times a week. I'm a one level man, and it, I started feeling my hair. It just didn't feel like I can't explain it. Like I'm a man with all right quality hair. So when I'm touching my head, I'm just feeling right. My hair kind of feels like hey, I'm just cutting it too 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 much. So I said yeah. right, let me just grow it out and let it grow out and treat it and whatnot. And then um, I was growing it, then I cut it off. When I when the barber cut off, I looked in the mirror. I said, "Ross, you got some funny shaped heads." So I started growing it again. I went to Jamaica. I went to Jamaica, and I just kind of got back in touch with myself. That's where I'm, my parents and my grandparents and everybody's from. 
um, where I'm from. And um, I had never been. So when I went back there, I just felt like, I don't know, I just had some mad spiritual connection. I was like, I come back, I'm just like, I'm just going to locks, man. So what, you're growing it to? Yeah, yeah, I'm going to keep going. Are I'm you a Russ, though? Am I like Russ? A it's, a, it's, a, it's a way of life, innit? I'm not, no, I'm not a fashion dread, innit? I'm getting, yeah, no, nah, that's a bit mad for me. I'm getting, I'm getting closer, I'm getting closer. Well, I, 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 did, I, I did notice that you were saying, you know, every time you put up a picture with your hair growing, you were saying my powers. powers. And I saw the spiritual connection with that. Yeah. Was, was that because, obviously, because you're spiritually connected, but were you actually saying it? Um, to make sure that people understood that you weren't just trying to be another disco dread just out here. Oh, no, no, no. It's just, you know what? It's something you got to, like, I felt more powerful. The more my hair grew, I felt like I even got better as a rapper, as a writer. Oh, yes, Karma man. as a person. So if I you want to be as good powerful. a rapper as Rich Free to, then grow your hair. Grow the hair. Grow out your power star. Don't cut them. When did you decide that you was going to drop out, for want of a better term, drop out the grime thing? Or was that always a plan? Or did you use mm. it as a stepping? Nah, step? do you know what? I never used it. I never. Mm. Do you know what? I never liked that. I, I um, saying that. I, I don't have the desire to want to spit that fast anymore. Okay. And I think like, as a teenager, it was like, yo, when I come up, like it was, it was speed, innit? it? It was more about how fast I could do it, how the syllables were, and that's what it was about for me, innit? it? Like that, what what made me show how good I was like at grime, like, yeah, I'm rich, I'm like, like whatever it was. And then just, as I got older and I'd come home, I'd play my tunes, I'd play it to even my baby mother, I'd play it to my mum or my auntie, and it's like, it's so fast, man, I can't hear what you're saying. And I'm like, I just didn't like that, man. Mm. I just didn't like it, and I was just like, I don't speak that fast, like, I wanna at least rap that speaking tempo, like, so I kind of just decided to just, use different music to express myself. Do you like Graham though? Yeah, I listen to it. It's a like it's still a vibe, isn't it? It's still like something that that gives high energy, isn't it? Like you know what I mean? Like Stormzy, like it's high energy. Like he's saying the things as well. Like he's not just chatting shit, like he's going in. Like, man, it's, and it's at a high velocity, high speed, high tempo. So how do you think the shift of importance back to Graham music might affect you or do you think it won't affect you at all? Nah man. It shouldn't affect me at all man. When um when they bring out Dr Pepper, it shouldn't affect Coke if Coke's good enough. Never. Yeah. You can't. I can't look at it like that. Like I'm, I'm here to do what I'm here to do. Like my bro, I'm Beres Hammond. Like I'm Chris Martin. I'm Rich Reed too. I'm all these different musicians in one. So I'm gonna express myself how I feel, and I'm not gonna be defined by any box that you put me in. Like oh. anytime they put me in a box, bro, I got I work my way out of it, man. So how did you feel when um, kind of like the media and everyone's kind of like Grimes back? What what did you take of it? Because you're obviously someone that's quite high yeah, yeah. in the game. Um, what, what what did you make of it? I'm happy for my brothers. Yeah. But do you feel like Graham is actually back or do you feel like I I feel people like, are doing well in Graham? Yeah, I think like people are doing well in Graham. The light's on it again and that's what's important. Yeah. You know, people like... People like the lighthouse because the light's on. You get what I mean? So I think grime being back is a good thing. Like Especially if you're a new grime artist, you get an opportunity to jump into something that's hot at the moment. You know what I mean? And just elevate yourself, man. Like, when who's you your speak? favourite grime MC of all time? <laughs> Sorry. Favourite grime MC of all time? Yeah. And throw some names out there for you. It's, you know what? It's it's Kano and Gets. You gotta pick one. If I can't both. pick one. You can't. Okay, it's, give it's, us a reason it's why. One. Why? Because you know what? You know, like growing up in the estate I grew up in, like the grime thing used to be seen as like a idiot thing. Like man, like this is how they this is how they they were, they were describing it, and it was like, but we was into it, innit, it, as kids, innit? it? Like, nah, nah, trust me, it's cold, man. Like you play a man a man and he's saying, yeah, but he's saying the same thing over and over again. These are people that listen to Nas or Jay-Z. So they want to hear someone that's saying something. You see when Kano came? I said, yeah. <laughs> listen to my man though. And my man's thing was, I could see by looking at your chain, it's white. So if you see me, feel free to tuck it in. Like his thing was Different, structure, yeah. lyrical, like um, characteristics. Like his thing was separate and then gets brought the gangster thing but the lyrical thing as well because gets was a g from the road so when he come through his thing was 
it was like Kano, but it was harder and it was aggressive and he had the aggression as well. And you, these were people you could show, like, listen to this guy though. And for for so long, I used to show people these 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 two MCs. You know what I mean? Oh. And then yeah. So for me, I'd I'd be lying if I said it was an M two. Have you ever done a feature where someone's had a better verse than you? That you've been upset in, about? In, in I, I can tell that is something that might. That's mind mad you for up. me. Yeah, bro, I can't sleep. If someone gets the better of me, <laughs> it's, it's like flipping Mayweather getting hit with his guard down. Like he'll watch that fight every time and say, "Why did you?" Why did you allow that punch to come through? So can we re revisit one of those events if one of those events has ever happened? Doesn't but have I, to but be I think I'm, no, no, but you know, I think I'm pretty solid. It doesn't have to be I'm trying to. Murder, I'm, but what verse do you think, Ra, yeah? What like, verse do you think that? And this, I, I don't Because it, 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 I, I, I'm not asking because I have one in mind. I'm asking oh, because I know you, that you, if there was one, you would know one. A lot of people say Tiny had the best verse on the Tiny, on the, J. On the Cole mixtape. and Rich. Yeah, I was going to say that. Yeah, a lot yeah. of people. I in, have heard that. In my opinion, no. Tiny's my, Tiny's my brother. But you know what? This like, It's subjective. J. Cole was fun, be, by the way. By it's supposed way. to be up to opinion. Everyone, you know what's funny as well? Like Everyone seems to forget that, like, about Tiny as well. Like, he's like, like, the, the youth can spit, you know? Mm. Like, there's not many rappers that could go on a country with, sorry, that could go on a record with, J. Cole or my, even myself to a degree like over here and Shine like we both gave him hell on that tune um, but nah 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 I think I was cool on that but he done it you know what he done though he done the bad boy thing which I would have done if I was him he done the thing where he's took it back he's got Brits and Ivan Novellos he, he said his cabinet's looking fancy with Brits and Ivan Novellos I left the space for the Grammy that's some t when I heard that I was like alright cool I see you so is Tiny one of your favourite MCs top MCs Tiny's cold at what he does Tiny's cold at what he does I would never ever say the youth's not cold at what he does. How yeah, yeah. how I remember that freestyle session we did? Bro, I, listen, I didn't. You <laughs> know what? Christmas, was it like a Christmas? It was yeah, a, yeah, a Christmas remember. thing. On Radio listen, One. That day, yeah. he woke me up because you know what? You know what I think back then, like it was me and Getz. Any station we're going on, any MC we're coming around, like Wiley, anyone would tell you, like on or off camera, we're like, yeah, let's spit, let's spray. Yeah, yeah. We're yeah. spitting, like this is what we're doing. Not a lot of it wasn't documented, innit? Because it wasn't like vines or instagram or 15 second snapchat or nothing so you might not know that this was happening but we was coming to studio saying what was going on in there Rep, like even when we when it was time to like start like yeah let's do a new tune people might spit bars that were recycled so they could keep so they could go to the the, the club and they could spit the same bar again and then people would know it that was mad for us <laughs> any song i'm going on i'm designing it now like i'm coming there this song this verse is tailored to this so we were writing on the spot. That was mad for people, like recording it there and then. Um, but yeah, nah. So yeah, what was the question? Sorry. It no, was talking about that freestyle we did. No. Oh yeah, yeah. Day. Okay, yeah, cool. Yeah, so sorry. the freestyle. So boom. So we come. We've come one extra now, and Viz is like, yeah. Um, it's gonna be you, gets and tiny temper. And what obviously, was your first at that reaction with that. At that, that at that time, the records that I'd heard from Tiny was like, why if you read them. And etc. So if I'm honest with you, like even T even knows this as well. And G, like me and G were like, like you get him. And G's like to me, nah, 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 you get him, man. I done it yesterday. <laughs> like nah, nah, that was the day before, man. Like you she get him. She looks like to mad cash, like. Like it was. This was meant to be a walkover. This wasn't a walkover, bro. The youth was spraying for his life. Yeah. And that day, the next like, I was probably one of the first people to call him for a feature on a tune with with everybody on. I've racked like it was like the next week. I said, yo, you know what, bro. I'm doing a remix to Be Cool. Come down and come and spit, bro. Just that same energy where you had there, Kai. He was, he was, he really, he woke me up that day and I was mad impressed. And he come, done his verse. I even put him first on the tune on that, on the Be Cool remix. Like, but I've always thought like he was, at what he does, he was cool. So you and Tiny have obviously got a strong relationship. Yeah. Um, and you have done over the years. You've also got a strong relationship with Chip. Is mm -hmm. it ever awkward when you're around Tiny? No. Nah. No, nah, never. And either of them shouldn't feel that way. Either, never, never. Bro, listen, man's coming from a place where it's it's serious. Mm. Where we're all friends. You've knocked him, he wants to... You get what I'm saying? That's what I'm coming from. So when I come into this game and I hear this one's clashing, this one, this is not, it's not serious to me. So if I stand with you, as long as you ain't put your hand on him, it, it doesn't matter. Like, it's not... It's not no one's losing a life over this. Like this is this is not pantomime, but it's like it's 
It's just passer. It's not serious. Like, but what do you do in this situation where us three are good friends, mm. you've knocked him and he wants to, like, that's a real life situation where you got to phone your brethren and say, listen, come link me and or rare, 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 or you lot can't, you can't do that or rare, 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 or, but you're knowing this guy's a madman and this guy's a madman. So you don't even know how this is going to play out. That's real life. What's this? When they see each other, like, it's not going to be like a fiasco. It's just going to be like, you stand over there, we stand over there and we ignore you. Like, it's not a real serious thing. Like, no one's going to die over this, bro. Like, Where would you be standing now? <laughs> Where would you be standing? <laughs> <laughs> I'm playing, I'm playing. I'm in I my cool. yard, <laughs> stop. What, what, what's, what do you think your greatest achievement's ever been? I'm so sorry, Sam. I didn't know you was about to talk. My children. It's okay, it's okay. Your children. Yeah. Musical, though. Because you've achieved some... <laughs> but I did like that. Yeah, that. Yeah, mm -hmm. I respect that's a, that. Yeah, that's a blow. No, what? The children. Mm. Oh, Blessing. Um... That's everything. The no, awards I mean, you've like, won, the album. Point, at oh. what point did you do something through music that you was like, it really just made you, you just couldn't believe it. Like, you mm. know what I mean? Because you've done some things. I remember <coughs> the, the, um, the Olympics thing was pretty that. impressive. Yeah, yeah, the Olympics thing was big. But do you know what? The Olympics thing was, was enormous. That was like a big deal, 2012, like to represent the country on that. Oh, yeah, I saw you but running you know what? for dear life. Amazing. <laughs> oh, with the, with the torch as well. What but was the you check know what? Do you know what? The music has taken me and enabled me to do... The you check was good. Check, B. <laughs> check, such a fool. Every, every check, bro. But yeah, um, I don't know. Like, for me, when I had a moment for myself was when my customised mic arrived. And it sounds so minuscule to selling millions of singles and nearly 200,000 albums or whatever. But that moment for me was just clarification and it solidified everything I'd worked for because I remembered what I started recording on. Like I started recording, I put my stereo, my headphones into the microphone socket on the old school system and I was recording into a tiny little headphones like this. Mm. And the little headphones that go in your ear and I was wrapped into that play and record on the tape. Da -da 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 get it right, you know, don't get it wrong because there's no second take, da -da 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 -da. stop. Rewind, play it back, listen to it. I said, rah, I'm like making a mixtape. So when my mic came and I was in rehearsals and it was designed how I wanted it. And then obviously after that, sorry to, to go back. After that, going onto like pirate radio where the mic's all messed up and you've got to hold it down and like you've got to hold it in a certain way because the lead's messed up and it's feeding back. All these crap mics. But then when my mic came and it was how I designed it, and I, and I just had a moment, I just looked at it and I was just like, rah, it's such a small thing. But like, I'm here now. Uh, that for me, that was when I said, yeah, I'm here now. How, like, do, how does it feel when people ask, obviously everybody, you know, decides what they want. And yeah. some people say, okay, we want the old wretch or, you know, I know Jay-Z always says buy the old album and stuff. Yeah. Is, is, is that your stance? Nah, because I'm always gonna grow as a person. Like, and I think everybody should. But when I say that, I don't mean I do things completely different. I mean, I feel like my music gets better. Like for argument's sake, I've had my my top selling record to date is Don't Go. Um, I've had a Don't Go on every single mixtape. I've had it on Learn From My Mixtape. I've had it on Teacher's Training Day with Nothing Lasts Forever. I've had it on Richer Size with Love Don't Live Here No More. I've had it on every single mixtape. What's your favourite mixtape that you've done just so people can download it now? If they want to do their history. You, you, no, you can't ask me that, bro. So they have to download all of them. It's like, what's your favourite niece? Mm -hmm. You can't, bro. I spent longer making, I spent more time making my music than I did making my children. So let's, let's how can I decide? Wow. How can I decide? How can I decide? How can I say this? How? Oh, I, I can't. But anyway, the people that say, yeah, they want the old rich. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, like, it's, it's just, I just get, I get better and, and, and that's what, that's what I, that's what I'd like to think. And that's what, like, when I listen back to the old stuff, I always hear something that's remotely similar, but I just feel it's 10 times better. Like, I got it out with less words. I think back then, for me, it was like syllables. Like there's no mistaking it or fake. Well, there's no mistaking it or faking it. I'm dying to go. There's no misplacing it. The faith in it is dying to blow. I'm trying to go, but still keep my composure. I'm trying to grind on the rhythm like it's so I keep writing like a never ending story, aiming for the glory. Cause I'm just fed up for reading stories. I'm fed up for <laughs> like it was all da -da -da -da, like it was so much. Yeah, but yeah. the point what I was getting across, I can now articulate myself and get that same point across in four bars. 
But at that time, it took me 16. And I had to, it was this, it was this, it was this. And I said, rah. And then when I started doing live shows, I was like, rah. Like, I, I don't want to have to need a hype man. Do you know what I mean? To, to help me get my words out. I want to be able to, to do it. Like, I've done it in the studio. So I think the evolution was just saying the same thing, but with less words. Yeah. Obviously, you're a household name now. I'm ITV. Uh, I got a new season of Celebrity Get Me Out of Here. Yeah. I hit up Zion. I'm like, yeah, I got 250 racks for a rep. It comes, it comes every year. What are you saying? The email comes every year. And what do you say? And I say, I don't even want to get into how much it is. I just don't want to do it. It's not time yet for that. I'm not, I'm, it's me it's not time yet? No, no, you know what? I... I you, 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 have, you have to it. understand like where we're coming from. The reason why I don't ask, the reason why I tell Zion, don't even if it gets to the figure stage, the figure stage, don't show me because man's coming from borderline poverty, bro. So when you get an email and they say to you, we're gonna give you seven hundred and fifty thousand to spend, how many days is it? I don't know, maybe a couple of weeks, three weeks, maybe. Three weeks. There's man spending life in prison for free. 10 years in prison for free. When they send you an email and say, we're going to give you 750,000 like pounds to bad. go in the jungle mm -hmm. for 30 days, you think I can go back and tell my mum I said no to that? So that's the, that's the email you got? <laughs> no, no, no. No, no, <laughs> no, 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 no. doesn't even want to know the I don't figure, even want to know the figure because if they turn around and say to me, we're going to give you 900,000 pounds. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I, I grew up in an estate in the jungle for free. Oh. I'm going to turn down 900,000 pounds. Yeah. To go in this jungle for 30 days. Right, so, cool. that, so, so that's you, your you figure. You go to the jungle, yeah? So say, for example, one day you do go to the jungle for a great amount of money. Yeah. Are the, you going to eat? The, the kangaroo. The thing. The yarak. <laughs> <laughs> you got some joints in there. Nah. But it, it, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know how to, like, you don't even know what the what the contract says. Mm. You must have asked Tinchy though. Like, if when you, like, no, have I haven't. I haven't. I haven't. I haven't. I haven't. And I love Tinch. I haven't asked him. I haven't asked him. But you don't know what the contract says. Like, but I know Tinchy, and I know his thing is. So if he for for them to get him on there, they gave him something that he felt he couldn't refuse. Yeah, one hundred. That's I that's think that's, most, that's I just think the most MCs would have done the same thing as Tinchy. Bro, everyone chat shit, fam. Yeah. 100%. Everybody is chatting shit. Everybody is saying, "Fuck this. Fuck Big Brother. Fuck da 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 da. Fuck that." When we was trapping. For 1,500 pounds, risking our freedom for 1,500 pounds. But you're telling me a man shouldn't go on Big Brother for, for 600,000 pounds? Because it's because it's 30 days. If that that's how you feel, that's honestly how you feel, then why was you trapping for 1,500 pounds? What you're saying doesn't make sense. Everyone's chatting shit. They're saying, ah, it's not about plaques, forget that. You're joking. Bro, when I got my, <laughs> when I got, <laughs> How? Listen to me, they bro. Gonna make listen, it, no, 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 they no, gonna no, make no, a no. fine of that joking. No, no, that, no. Listen, that no, is no. The new no, no, but listen, no, but, no, no, no. But listen to me, yeah, bro. Yeah. Are they when I when Are I got my yeah. when I got my GCSE results, yeah. What did you get in English, English, by the way? I got a I got a B in English. When I opened by accident, I didn't know coursework. When I opened it up and it looked like Fubu, bro. It looked like F U B U C something something something. I said, shit. How am I gonna show this to my mom? I've never felt like a, like an embarrassment more than that day. I took this home, I gave it to my mum. I said, yeah, mum, I got my results. She opened it up, she looked at it. She said, what am I supposed to do with this? T the deeper question to that is, what was I supposed to do with that? I can't frame that. That's an embarrassment. She can't go and show her friends. You know, where where black people, we love to show, yeah, my son done this and re, re, re. we love to. So you want to say a plaque's an edict thing. When I got that plaque, that first one, my mum's name, mum, this is for you. Look what I've done, mum. That's in the wall. Anyone walks in that front room, you can't miss that plaque. Make your people them proud. You think, I, I, listen, I take every single one of my singles that lick 200,000, probably only one that hasn't. I take the plaque and put that up on my wall. And you know what? When I have my grandkids and my youth, then when they get their yards and everything, put that up on your wall and look what granddad done. Don't make people chat shit to you about this success is mad. Success ain't mad, bro. Uplift yourself. Uplift yourself and bring your people out. You think I'm here, coming from here, coming from where I'm coming from, for what? So my mates can come and get free drinks in the club. You're joking. Come and work with us. Let's work on something serious. Let's talk about the stuff you've done in Tottenham because I know you do some things. Huh? We need Bro, to get some like, like, for listen, don't let no one. I know it's a little bit like, yeah, the plaque is something like, what? you think this is jokes? That I sold 200,000. I should what? Put this under the, under the table. 
Now don't downplay your your, your achievement. Downplay How many your records you sold? Would you say? Sell it. Sell like over a million. Songs well, over, sold, I don't know. Two hundred thousand yeah. albums. Don't act like you don't. Well, what I wanted to. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> you've done some things. I, just, I don't know exact number. Yeah, go on. <laughs> You've done some things in Tottenham. Mm. Let's talk about those things. Like you have like barbecues and stuff. Or yeah, we try and do we try and do a yearly event with a youth club, a youth club, um, big up Gillette Promotions and Triangle Youth Club. We just try and do a yearly event. People can come down, have some food, bouncy castles. If you play football, you get the Tottenham scouts down. Um, I, I just want to try and expand it in it. Like I want to be able to have it like bigger, like where we can have performances because we don't have the Tottenham Carnival anymore. Um, but you are a true reason. ambassador for Tottenham. I try it. I try it. I try it. I just, I, you know, is how I look at things. I always remember being the kid that wanted to receive the phone call. I wanted to receive help. And that's why it always makes me want to do it. You know what I mean? Like the little, the, the kids football team, um, which Pete manages and coaches and, and stuff. And um, like you, you, you have to try in it. Like you have to try and do something. People's like, oh, you have to give back, but it's like it's not really giving back. It's like giving forward, because it's like it's for them to move forward with it. Like every time you speak, it's like we're in a rap battle. You know, you have to digest it, uh, and then you're like, boom, uh, uh, no, uh, <laughs> boom, of, summit talk, shams, boom, summit talk, Tottenham, um, Avelino, that's your guy, A V. Ooh. So that's about your relationship with Avelino. You know what? If I'm honest, like people are always like. Who do you hear and feel like it's like the new you, but in a new way, not like he sounds like me. And when I hear that you, I hear me at 21, like making my early stuff. And that's when I hear, that's what I hear. But not, it doesn't sound like me. He's got his own sound, but the hunger, like the passion that he, he just cares about the music, bro. Like he don't want to... He don't ring me and say, like, I want to battle this guy or I want to do this, I want to do that. He's like, yeah, I just want to make this song or do you think I'll make a concept like that or do you think like it's all about, it's music related, bro. Like, he sounds like that and he's firing the booth, which was crazy. He does sound like that. He just yeah, sounds yeah, like, yeah. I don't want, I don't care about the rest Nothing of it. Nothing else. Just, just like let me just music. make my songs and that's, that's me earlier on. So it's like, and, and the fact that he lives like two minutes from my mother's yard. I think my little sister even gave me a CD years ago and I didn't listen to it. You get me? Just out of busyness or whatever. Um, but yeah, the, you know, the fact that it's, it's, it's local as well and that he's mad talented, mad humble. I'm just like, I'm just going to try and give him all the help I can, man. You two should work on something together, maybe. Maybe we will, man. Maybe we will. Are there any of your your fans that have been consistent throughout your journey? I've got to ask you about Natsy 3 too. Is she still uh, on the scene? Yeah, Natsy. Natsy, where, where Natsy? Natsy? She was his ultimate she was die fan. Hard. She was diehard. Die hard. Like Just, through everything, she, she was diehard. But die you, know, hard. you know, I know it's what happens with the fans. She dropped you out? No, 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 no. No, she, no, she was dedicated. She, she even came to my office to do work experience yeah, so she could no, be no, close. No. No. To where got, his office I was. I think I know. I've, I've heard, heard about this girl. Everyone knows Natsy 3 too. She was Mrs. 3 too. She got a um she got a baby and that now and whatnot. I think like she grew up. Yeah, they grew up. But what happens is it's like Is it yours? <laughs> Whoa. Wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> it's post these now. No. No, no, no. I think like I think what happens is like I notice it's like a not a phase, but it's like they're young and it's like a not an infatuation, but they're really into what you're doing. And then it's like they hit an age and then it's like, I don't know if they get a boyfriend or they leave school. Or I don't know what happens in life and it's they just, they just calm down. But you did bit. have a collective. That, that I've got to say, you yeah, had a collective a little gang, and Marvel had a collection. Yeah, collective. Yeah, 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 yeah. I know Marvel had Chan Chan and mm -hmm. you definitely, t this girl, like you don't understand. No, like, she, yeah, she was dying she, she, sure she came to do work and she, she said, are you sure Rich won't come today? So you're going to come to the office? I'm like, he don't come to the <laughs> office like that. <laughs> it's just not that serious. <laughs> she. Like, but she's there. She's cool, man. She's still she like she just then. stalker. No, 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 that the finances are running good. Yeah. Um, 
And yeah, just like, you know, I still like enjoy working with artists, man. Like, I still Speaking enjoy... Speaking of finances, you said bar mitzvah. Sorry, just before you <laughs> wrap that up. Whoa. <laughs> Damn, son. Basically. Have you performed at a bar mitzvah? Yeah, I've done a few. For real? Wow. Bar mitzvahs are good, man. What's the biggest gift somebody's given you apart from paying you for a show? Because I'm sure bar mitzvahs, everyone's just like... <laughs> Post nah. dying to do a bar mitzvah. Nah, do you know what? They didn't, <laughs> I didn't, nah, it wasn't, it wasn't, it wasn't a gift thing. It was, but it was, it, it's good finance though. Mm. You can get good money for bar mitzvahs. Bar mitzvahs and festivals you can get, you can really get still. I don't really want to dwell into your figures, right? No, nah, no, nah, let's not do that. Even though you've got two AR chains on and we've got some figures from Jay Avalanche the other oh. day, but <laughs> we're just going to leave it there. <laughs> <laughs> No, but wait, no, no, sorry, I have to say, is that the best source of income then at the moment, like the live, for a musician, live music and, or festival, should I say, and bar mitzvahs? It's not really, yeah, it's not really making it from sales like that. You, you are eating, but oh. you're not, like, you're not full. But you need to go on the festival stages, you would say. I think, first, right, you work your way up the festival, you get good money, the bar mitzvahs them, but it's it's just depending on what, the youth them like at the time and it's mainly chart music so the more you move up in that you can put your festival your festival fee up as well um so i think yeah i definitely think like lives where the money's at probably merch as well yeah. lethal probably killing it on merch jme killing it yeah, on yeah. merch I, i've stayed away from merch for <coughs> that reason um but yeah now there's there's good set sources of income you know I, as a youth like i always like thought to myself like bro like when i saw wiley i was like bro like where, where's the like is there money in this thing like is the money good here like and he was like yeah the money's good the money's good man just you just need to be positioned right and then um when i got positioned right i started realizing that the money is is really good and some like a lot of people think that it's not but the money's nice man the money's nice like, trying the to get there man the money's really nice that and being just, said just, your wildest performance was cold Thank you. Amazing this Thank year. You. That was my, yeah, I had to, that was just the sabbatical, the second time coming in, I had to get it right. Yeah, yeah. So right. these bar mitzvahs, sorry, before we go, <laughs> <up, laughs> are they in this country or are they like abroad? Nah, they're in this country, but they will have like, the little youth, them, they're, they're young, like, they're, but they will have somewhere in Central rented out, like some mad venue. You've probably never even been in. I've performed in a few of them where I've never, I didn't even know that building exists. And then you go in there, and you're just like raw, but it's just it's just a different world. Like they got they got currency, man. Look at Posty's face. They got currency, okay, but um, I don't know. I don't know how you you need yeah, to manage an artist. Get, how does yeah, one get booked got, for this? Nah, I just want to roll. I just want to roll. <laughs> yeah, security, anything. Man. <laughs> yeah. GRM. I, just I don't. It. I don't need security. I don't need yeah, no, no. I'm a people's person. I'm a person of the people, bro. GRM. Wow. Like that. GRM. Try That's what you should do, actually. If you ever. The first you hey. MC, you're joking. Not Drake, but a yeah. proper one with a hat, everything. That would be crazy. So the proper one, you know. Yeah. <laughs> you get me. All right, Rich. Big up. It's been a pleasure acting yeah. like I don't know you. Come on. Always. Big up, Shams. Big up, Posty. NFTR. Make sure you hashtag NFTR. Make sure you log on to the, not the website. We ain't got that yet, but make sure you subscribe to the YouTube. Yeah, you can tell I'm sick, innit? Uh-huh. Boom. You. Yeah.